Philippians chapter 4. Matter of fact, start beginning, begin at verse 1 and read down to 6. Therefore, my beloved, and longed for, brethren, my joy and crown. So stand fast in the Lord, beloved. I implore you, Odia, and I implore Sentaichi to be the same of the same mind in the Lord. Amen. You have an apostle here setting order amongst the people of God. Encouraging them, there had to be some type of conflict yeah. for him to mention their name and make this statement. Amen. So he's encouraging them. See, you can't just get up here or take one of the offices and decide that you're going to do what you want to do. And God has not called you into that. Because you have to handle the God of God's people with care. Yeah. Keep reading, woman of God. And I urge you also, true companion, help these women who labored with me in the gospel. To help the la the, these, these what? Women? Yeah. That labored. I, I, I have a problem with people that's trying to twist the word of God to try to say that there's no woman preachers. Well. Amen. So this man of God, which stood as an apostle, made sure that he mentioned these women of God that were laboring with him in the gospel. What did you say, woman of God? I, and I urge you also, true companion, help these women who labored with me in the gospel, mm -hmm. with Clement also, and the rest of my fellow workers, mm -hmm. whose names are in the book of life. Amen. You know what? Side note. I want these men of God to stand up. Prophet. I want all the prophets. These men that I said, out of all of these men, I want the, the ones that are prophetesses to stand right here in front of me. These mighty men of God. We know these men, they, they operate powerfully. Yeah. Right? Right. So I want... If any of these men are prophetess, I want the prophetess to stand. Prophetess. I want these men, any one of these men of God that stands as a prophetess, come stand right here. Demonstration. Listen. Paul just made a statement about these women that are, they were powerful and they were co-laborers with him. Amen. He said, you make sure that you help them. Yeah. Right. Come on. But listen, in this day and hour, this order, God calls his word, says we're built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. So the things that were laid out in the Bible, we need to follow them. So why? Maybe someone could explain it. Why is it? This is my mom. Prophetess Nadine. This woman of God stands in so much power. Amen. Amen. Yes. When the word of the Lord comes from her, it makes you fall subject. And it's no less effect than this man of God right here. Amen. She stands in power. I told my wife, I said, I will submit to this lady any hour of the day. Amen. Especially because she's in subjection to her husband. Yeah. The order of God. Yeah. Now in Christ there's neither male nor female, bond nor free. There is neither. So as this woman of God stands and says, Thus saith the Lord, her words are of no less effect, her being a prophetess. But now in this day and hour, we have the women that no longer wants to be called prophetess. They want to be called a prophet. And no one's saying anything. 
If the men and the women of God that know the word does not stand for what was laid by the apostles and prophets, we as a people of God looking at you, we won't be able to stand if the foundations be destroyed. What will the righteous do? We have to get back to what that word says. It takes nothing away from that woman of God. But God is calling his body back into order. For those things that we're looking over, the enemy will come back and take those things later. So we get rid of that. Just, she's a prophet now. She's not a prophetess. You could call me prophet. Prophetess David? Uh oh. The devil is a liar. <laughs> but then when when people of the world begin to creep in, and especially this day and age where there's there's this thing with this gender, confusion, and abomination that's coming through the land. And they stand and they want to take a little bit more masculine role. Well, what are you gonna do? And you can't even submit to what this word says. We have to set order so when they come from the world, we'll be able to continue in what was laid by the apostles and prophets. That was a sign note. Okay, woman of God, can you continue to read please? 